Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today is a truly momentous occasion because today I get to play another Quantic Dream game. For those who are longtime viewers of my content, you'll know that I've had a pretty damned good relationship with Quantic Dream over the years. I've pretty much played every major release they've done in the modern era, including Indigo Prophecy slash Fahrenheit, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. All of which I enjoyed. People say that my style of gameplay and commentary certainly lends itself to this style of game. As you know, Quantic Dream games are games that when you play them, depending on your choices, it could completely change the outcome of the game. Someone could live or die. You could get a whole new cutscene or, or stage of the game when normally maybe you wouldn't if you had made a different choice. And so they lend themselves to multiple playthroughs. This is my first playthrough of Detroit Become Human. I'm going to try to make honest, reactionary decisions to everything going on based on how I feel at the time. And I, I am planning on doing another playthrough after this one where I kind of do the opposite choices to see how that affects everything. But for now, this is my first clean run. The other thing, I did not play the demo. I did not really watch many trailers outside of what was played at like E3 and stuff. So I've stayed away from spoilers. I don't know much at all about what's going to happen in this game. So I'm very excited to see what Quantic Dream has put together for us. All right. So without further ado, let's boot her up. Detroit Become Human, the latest Quantic Dream yarn. Let's see how it goes. Starting, starting out, shout out to Black Mage C-Type who cheered and said, Detroit hype, never thought I'd say that. Always fun to watch you play Quantic Dream games. I'm cautiously optimistic about this game and hoping it will be more like Blade Runner and less like the movie AI. <laughs> I actually never saw the movie AI. I think a lot of people are actually saying this game is similar to iRobot, which I did see. So I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. In a strange twist, everyone in the game will still pronounce the word origami. <laughs> origami! Is Willem Dafoe in this? Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Hi! I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Oh, wow! Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Sounds good. I'll adjust my balls right These now. These language settings oh. were detected on your console. There we go. Are they correct? English, English, subtitles on. Oh, no, you don't. You guys probably want large subtitles, right? I think the bigger, the better. Look, those are way too small. Yeah, let's go large subtitles. There we go. Shout out to Boa Hancock, who subbed to the channel. Thank you for the sub. And Kupo Mog just said 113 bit cheers. So let's go. So excited, Kupo. All right. Everything looks good. There's no Willem Dafoe in this game. Oh, I'm fuck this then. We're done. I'm closing it. We're done with this playthrough. I'm Willem Dafoe. All right, I guess okay, we got to put up with no Willem Dafoe. Keep the changes. Please adjust your screen settings. All right, I will. Brightness. Uh, adjust value until center icon is barely visible. I guess we'll do it like that. That's pretty good. Yes. Thank you. Now select your profile. Ooh, my profile. I'm 36. I enjoy long walks on the beach, pina coladas. <laughs> what is this? Okay. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls, a fair challenge where mistakes can leave me losing a character. Okay, so casual or experience. I want to focus on the story with simpler controls, more forgiving, and fewer chances to lose a character. Now let's do experience. I'm experienced. Oh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> yes. Uh, I made breakfast in 100-bit cheers at just in time. Podman26 just subscribed to the channel. Thank you for the sub. And Plague Wielder just cheered and said, Jason! When this sign is displayed, please oh. do not turn off your console. I'm you turning it off. Know? Fuck you. I, I, do, I don't do what I'm told. Remember, this is not just a story. Oh. This is our future. Oh, wow. It's very important. We gotta, ju we gotta do things properly here. Make sure we don't make any terrible decisions. Let's kill them all within the first five minutes. Let's do it. August 15th, 2038, 8.29 p.m., Android. So I guess this guy's an Android, huh? Hey, look, it's Norman Jaden. Android Norman Jaden. He's flipping a coin. Yeah, he's playing with it. He's going to put on the Avi. Or the Nat, whatever it's called. Navi. All right, it's not Norman Jaden. I don't know who this guy is. This guy looks like a... Uh, 
This guy looks like the guy from that movie where all the he controlled all the rats. Will, was it Willard or something? And the rats ate people. Remember that shit? All right, here we are. All right, what do we got right here? We got a coat hanger. Steal this fucking guy coat right now. His arm just lit up. He has an armband that lit up blue. You saw that? Why is there water on the floor? Kneel down. What the hell? Why is there a fish on the floor? A dwarf garami. Save the dwarf garami. We gotta save the fish. Save it. Ignore the woman crying in the next room. Save the fish. There you go. Alright, apparently that was a, a life-changing decision. What's this? John Phillips, Caroline Phillips, and Emma Phillips. A happy family, huh? All it has is their, uh... All it has is their, uh, dates of birth. It doesn't, and their address. It doesn't really have any information about them. Okay. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Huh? Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You need to go. You uh. can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Uh. Don't let that thing Find Captain Allen. Hold R2 to consult your objectives. Okay, so it'll show where you need to go to continue with the story, but apparently there's other stuff you can do. Whoa, look at those bullet holes. What the hell's going on in here? Fuck! Looks like a girl's bedroom. Talk to Captain Allen for- Haha! <laughs> oh man, it's like, uh... It's like they have, uh, like, restrictions on what they can do. Based on their programming, he's like, what the fuck are you doing going in that kid's room? Go talk to Captain Allen, asshole. Alright, where's Captain Allen? Oh, man, look at all the stains in that bed. These people were, uh, kinky. I see a mustard stain. Alright, Captain, Captain Allen. Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. He ignored him! It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Huh. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know its name? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Wow, what an asshole. <laughs> wow, my probability of success went way down. What the fuck? Understand what happened or save the hostage at all costs. What the fuck? So, okay, so look at this. Depending on what I decide to do, apparently will increase my probability of success. So if I understand what happened, it'll raise it. So I should look around for clues. Boy, that captain was a complete douche. All right, let's see what we got here. What's, what is this? Analog, handgun, a handgun case. Use the right stick to move the cursor, let's see here. There's two clues to analyze. Okay. 355 ammunition, okay. So it's pretty powerful ammo, huh? This is gonna tell us the kind of gun. An MS-853 Blackhawk handgun. Reconstruct. Use L2 or R2 to review the reconstruction. Triangle. Deviant took the father's gun. That's it? Okay. So we know the de the deviant is armed. That's probably pretty important, right? We've already got a 51% probability of success now that we know that he's the deviant is armed. Okay. 
Is there anything in the bedroom we can investigate? It doesn't look like it, right? I think it would be marked. Alright, what about that bedroom that we skipped? Yeah, search the hostage's room. Here we go. Oh, there's t tons of stuff in here. Look, at least two, two items. Alright, what's this? Examine. Swipe the touchpad to interact. Okay. Huh. So his name is Daniel, and apparently the girl thought that he, he was like her best friend. All right, that's interesting. This is cool. This is like a combination, I'd say, of like Heavy Rain investigation with L.A. Noir, right? It kind of feels like L.A. Noir with the way I'm investigating stuff around the room. Alright, let's keep looking and see what we find here. 